everyone, Fluffy Cat here, and welcome back to another Roblox video. Before we begin, don't forget to comment, leave a like, and hit the subscribe button with your tongue, because why not? And welcome to Speed Simulation. Now, I've played this before, but unfortunately, the, uh, the memory? I don't know, some, like, um, here went all kaput, yeah? Kaput. Kaput? Yeah, let's go with kaput. And the video was... Well, it didn't make it. It died. So here I am re-recording the same game but on a different day. Who doesn't like doing that? To a cave? I don't want to go to a cave. I just want to just just keep going. Speed board. I don't. What? Uh, sure. I I enjoy. <coughs> All right. Let's see if we can do this this time. Level twenty. Let's go, 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 let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, so close. Oh, almost, almost in third place. Almost in third place. Since this is, I can do a bubble trail. You must be level 10. Wait, so does that mean I don't get the trail? Oh man, we must be level 10. Level 10 of what? I don't know. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, so I'm sorry about this whole hassle of me having to re- Uh, I guess re- do this? I guess I'm always, you guys didn't see my first struggles. But it's okay. We, we, we can at least, uh, at least I can have a do-over in a way. In a small way. So! With that ado, this game actually reminds me of soccer. Now I don't know if there's a, a soccer game here for uh, for Roblox. I'll probably have to check that out on my own time. But this kind of reminds me of the time I played soccer in third grade. Now, of course, I know I don't say that much about myself, and I plan to share a little bit more. And this is one of those days. Where I feel like I feel like sharing. The sharing is caring, but only a, a little bit of information. And there's gonna be a new race. Yes, I would like to participate, please. I'm getting better. I just know it. I'm getting better. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me do this. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. No! Don't leave me behind. No, I lost. So in third grade, I played a lot of soccer, okay? And I mean like every recess, soccer. There were little breaks like when it rained or something. But on that, just soccer 24-7. And then one day, someone from an, an opposite class got injured. Not like injured as in like they broke their bone or something, but injured as in like they scraped their knee. Now the school guard that was there, you know, keeping an eye on all the kids, saw this and banned soccer for an entire year. Now granted it wasn't actually an entire year, it actually was just for an entire week, but, it, but to be honest she said it was going to be for an entire year. And that broke my little heart. My little third grade heart, soccer, which I have grown to love, suddenly just taken away. And my pool of friends suddenly became... I lost on the trail. Can I have it, please? Go without looking. Please? Oh. I think this one might work. Am I leaving it behind? I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm leaving anything behind. Sure, I'll join it. So anyway, so as you can tell, after that day happened, I was devastated, of course, because, you know, soccer was my go-to thing to do for recess. So I ended up having, instead of, like, a group of, I don't know, like, maybe 25 friends, and now suddenly became a group of 6 or 5 friends. Even though soccer was taken from me, I don't see it as a loss because uh, 
after soccer was cancelled for the entire week, uh, my friend, who I'm going to call Joey for the sake of the purpose of this video, because I, to be honest, I don't remember his name very well. Joey, he one day pulled me aside and basically showed me something called Pokemon. He taught me about marbles as well, but he kind of let, kind of entered me through this, I guess, to the video game area. If it wasn't for him, honestly, I don't think I would have survived uh, my third or fourth grade year. So I'm very thankful, you know. Even though I was sad, you know, that soccer was taken from me, and after an entire week passed, I saw, you know, my friends playing again, and I'm like, ah, eh, who cares? Because it didn't matter. I mean. I thought, you know, in the future, I'm like, what if someone gets hurt again and it's taken again, and but this time for a lot, a lot longer. So, you know, that crossed my mind, so I, I just stopped playing because of that specific reason. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Yeah... Well, granted, it's probably not the, the best of reasons to, you know, to not play something, but it was a reason for me. Uh... Uh, sure, why not? Sure, why not? So, yeah, so thanks to Joey, I learned about video games. I learned about Pokemon, Mario, Sonic, and Kirby. Keep in mind those peop those characters' names, because I think later on I'm gonna do a review on the Super Smash, I believe? And I'm gonna go more into depth on, on why those characters are very, like, stand out of the rest. And even though I am a uh, certain gender, I wasn't allowed to play video games because they were deemed too violent for me. In fact, I believe the first game that I played with others was actually Super Smash Melee. Yeah, that old game. I really didn't even know what it was called, but I do remember one thing. I sucked at that game. No matter how many times I played against my cousins, I could never beat them. I was always uh, Kirby because he was the only one I recognized. Well, him and Pikachu, they were the only few characters I recognized. But I was mostly a Kirby main. I don't know why! And to this day, it baffles me. Because I actually switched mains from Kirby to Pikachu. Which is honestly nothing long thinking about it. It's a very odd choice how I just switched from switched mains suddenly. You know? But it's kind of just like one of those things that you just like, you know, it just happens in life. You know? So yeah. So let it all be a lesson to all you guys. Just because one door closes doesn't mean it's forever closed. When a door closes, that means there's another door that's opening with a po probably a better opportunity. Yes, I would like to participate in this very much. So yeah. So if something like that ever happens to you, where a door closes and you feel like, you know, you're lost or something, just remember, there's always gonna be a door that's going to open very soon, that you maybe will enjoy a lot better than, you know, the first thing. You know? You never know until you try. Let's see if the trail will work now. I don't know if it works. I, I don't even know if it's on. But I hope it is. For my sake, at least. Oh god. So yeah, that that is my experience and I hope you guys learned something from it. I really do. I really do hope so. Let's see what else is in here. Now what else can I talk about besides, you know, my my good old years in third grade. As you guys know, I am also bilingual. I speak Spanish and English. So, te technically, my ethnicity would be Hispanic. Of course, even though I was born here in America. Uh, let's see. I have parents, of course, just like anyone else. A mom and dad. And an older sibling. And two adorable little puppies. Who you probably know as Rexy and Maya. If you follow me on Instagram. You know, if you know that, if you didn't, now you know. I've had my dog, I've had Rexy for 10 years and Maya for 8 years. 
Yeah, they're old now that I think about it. Oh my god, they're old. They're old, but they still act like puppies. It's adorable. It's really adorable. You know? It's really adorable. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Get fourth place. Come on. Come on. Come on. <gasps> we got third! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! So this is working then. This all collecting all of these thing thingy me bobs is these glowing what are they called glowing shining globs of amalgamations are actually working all my hard work is finally paying off if my hard work can pay off so can yours keep working hard you know who knows maybe you can achieve your dream okay that actually sounds a little bit cheesy not saying that aloud <laughs> It sounds so cheesy! Oh my gosh! Oh, uh, is that how I sound like? Do I normally sound cheesy? Oh my gosh. How I- What if I've always been a cheat and I never noticed it until now? <gasps> Conspiracy theory! I tell you. <sighs> Let's see, what else? Uh-uh. If you are, like, a really good friend with me, I like teasing people. I just- I just- I don't know why, I just like teasing people in general. Just teasing, just teasing them, you know, re relentlessly. It, it normally means, if I tease you, it normally means like, you know, you're a good friend, you know? And I try to like just do that in general. But mostly with my good friends, like with Ari and Zero and uh, my other friend's niece, I always tease them around about like certain things. Uh, we all have a good time though. I think we should probably uh, one day uh, talk to them again and have Maybe we, maybe we can, you know, collaborate and just, like, play a game or something. If only, if only. I just need to find out a way that we could do that. Okay, let's do this! Can we get third again? Can we get third again? I think we might be able to do it. I think we might be able to- Yeah! Oh, no, we didn't get third. Oh, Boo! We almost did it, though. We almost did it. So, yeah! So that's I think all for today. If you guys have any other questions, just leave them down in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if I tease you, just remember that's that's kind of like how how I am. I I like teasing people. Okay, I just I just do. Okay, I'm a teaser. I like teasing people. Occasionally trolling them, but mostly teasing. I'm like a I'm a I'm like a troll cat. <laughs> that's what I am. That's what I am. Yeah. See you all next time. Can we get the ring? Actually, can we get the ring? Nope, still can't get it. <laughs>